Hi, this is Patty, and welcome back to our new features and tips. Today I'm in the editor, and I am working on the weather app. We have a couple of new styles that you can use on the weather app. If you click on the weather and go over to the weather properties on the left-hand side, you'll notice that we have something that says style. You can change the look of your weather app. So right now we're in horizontal mode. I'm going to choose horizontal compact. What it does is it just decreases the size of that of those days and it makes them more square uh, for a layout. It's a little more compact and can fit in smaller areas. We also have stacked and stacked is just a vertical layout of the days. Notice you can change again the height um, and the size just by using the handles. Then we have the now. Now just means today. So if you want just one day for the weather and make it large enough, just pick now. And we have now vertical, which makes it uh, a vertical mode. The other way, of course, was square. And then now and later just gives us the next three days right after today. So people can see the upcoming weather. And now and later vertical just has a different layout. So it goes off to the right hand side. The other feature we have is you're uh, able to change the background color of the weather app, which is great because um, sometimes you have a really dark background and you don't want to have a dark, temp uh, dark, dark weather app. So we want to change it and lighten it up. So I'll give you an idea here. I'm going to change this to blue which makes this really pop right off of our off of our slide right here. It's nice and bright. I go back to that picker and I'm just going to show you that you can drag that picker wherever you want and you can choose whatever hue of that blue you wish. You can choose another color and do the same thing. If you'll notice also as I'm sliding around the color picker if you look at my font, my font is black right now, but the darker I get in the background color, it now changes to white. That's just so it's easier for you to read. The wonderful thing is you don't have to go in and you don't have to actually change the font color yourself. The picker will do it all for you. So just something to make your slides a little bit more creative and a little bit more beautiful. So please come back for additional new features and tips.